here behind me is 707 West Belden. The significance of this address is that this is where I met my partner in crime, my wife and my best friend, Patricia. This is the story of 707. I could be happy with the plain life of fool and even if only you were. Look, what would I do? If I quit now, then I took all this chance for nothing. She's under the dryer right now, but this is the place. This is where I met my wife, and I met her while I was selling shampoo for a startup company. Little did I know when I walked in this spot, I was gonna meet my life partner, my best friend. So this is the spot, 707. So I walked, oh, you're all right. Good. Right on, thanks anyway, man. So I walked in this place and my whole life changed. Now that's not the only thing that happened here. So I proposed to my wife here, where we met, and this is basically where my entire life turned around. You see, before I walked into this spot, I was pretty misguided, I was, I was unfocused, I had a great job, but I was really just kind of lost until I met my wife Patricia. And she kind of helped me become the best man that I could be. All right, little backstory. So years ago, Trisha and I worked right next to each other. Point of reference, so I worked here and Trisha worked here. Now this is like two blocks away. That's very close. City blocks are not that big. So I worked there for a number of years and Trisha worked there for 14 years and she was the education director for a good chunk of that. Um, even after that, when I was selling shampoo, I went into that salon and never saw her. So we were so close yet so far away until I walked into 707 and everything changed. So because all of that awesome stuff happened at 707 West Belden, Trisha and I decided to get matching tattoos. Are we going to get a tattoo? Uh -huh. So we went into this place. It was called the Burnt Tiger. And to be honest, it was not a good experience. The guy who consulted with us he said it was his shop, but after our interaction, I highly doubt it, man, because this guy had no customer service skills. At the end of like asking us what we wanted, he gave me the pen and said, here, you draw it. You show me what you want. And so I ended up telling the guy that I wasn't gonna go through with it because I didn't feel right in my gut. Now I have a lot of tattoos. Never during any of them did I feel like I felt in this shop. So we left. After we left, I had accepted the fact that we were not gonna get a tattoo tonight. So we drove down the street, I guess Trisha was on Google, and she found a place called Twisted Tattoo who had a YouTube video. In this video, the owner of the shop of Twisted Tattoo explained that their main focus was to give the customer a great experience, a comfortable experience, no matter how expensive or inexpensive the tattoo. And this really resonated with me. We're getting a tattoo. Him and I do all these ten thousand dollar You ready, man? I could be happy to play like a fool and even only work. What would I do? If I quit now, then I took all this chance for nothing. Oh, okay. I go back to being yeah. nothing. Work at some jive job for chump change day after day. Look, if that's all I'm supposed to do, then they're going to have to kill me because that ain't enough. Come on. See you tomorrow.